Hi everyone, this is Sudhakar from Computer Science Department of Gokaraju Rangaraju Institute of Engineering and Technology. Uh, me and my team members Balakrishna, Uday Kumar and Rajesh Babu has done this project under the guidance of CH Malikarjun Rao. Our project is Quality Assessment on Spatial Data. What is Quality Assessment actually? Assessing the quality of particular thing or object is called Quality Assessment. And then what is Spatial Data? It is the data or information that identifies the geographical location of futures and boundaries on earth. So spatial data is usually stored as coordinates and topology and is data that can be mapped on the map. Okay. Uh, spatial data is often accessed, manipulated or analyzed through geographic information systems. Main goal of the product. Efficient clustering of spatial data is main goal on this project. So here uh, uh, I have used dbscan as clustering algorithm for making a cluster groups. Density based clustering algorithm that grows regions with effectively and sufficiently high density into clusters. Uh, density based algorithm is uh, mostly imposed on high density. It uses two parameters, one is epsilon and min points. Epsilon is the radius on a particular circle that it forms and min points are the minimum points that it should be required. Clustering algorithms basically classified into four categories. One is partitioning method, hierarchical method, density based method and grid based method. DBSCAN algorithm comes into density based methods. Clustering methods that are based on a distance measure between objects have certain difficulties finding clusters with arbitrary shapes. Density method Regard clusters as density regions of objects in the data space which are separated by regions of low density. Density based methods can be used to filter out noise. So let's look into what is noise. Amount of noise in data Some clustering algorithms are very sensitive to noise, a careful choice must be made if the data in the application contains large amount of noise. Now let's look into dbscan, how it works and what is its algorithm. Density based clustering algorithm that grows regions with sufficiently high density into clusters. It uses two parameters, one is epsilon and another is min points. Uh, epsilon for the distance and min points is the minimum point that is needed for making a cluster. An object with at least min points of objects within its epsilon neighboring hood is called a core of application of dbscan. An example image recognition and raster data analysis and another is find natural clusters clusters which are described as crowded together by the human eye. This is a class diagram of our project what we have done. Algorithm of TB scan. First select a point P. Retrieve all points density reachable from P with respect to epsilon and min points. We all know that epsilon is a distance and min points is a minimum support to form a cluster. If P is a core point, a cluster is formed. If P is a border point, no points are density reachable from P. And dbscan visits the next point of the database. Continue the process until all the points have been processed. Result is independent of the order of processing the points. An example applied on group of points. First, selecting a particular point with the help of epsilon distance and min points it forms a cluster here it is a density reachable uh, we, we can see two circles one point is a core point and it is density reachable this all belongs to one cluster advantages dbscan doesn't require you to know the number of clusters in the data a priori as opposed to k-means. dbscan can find arbitrarily shaped clusters. It can even find clusters completely surrounded by a different cluster. 
due to min points parameter the so called single link effect is reduced third one db scan has a notation of noise fourth db scan requires just two parameters one is epsilon distance and another is minimum points and is mostly insensitive to the ordering of points in the database these are the screenshots of of our project what we have done this is the main screen uh, when we run our project so selecting selecting the image from the pop up window window for giving the min points and threshold distance that is epsilon and min points after entering the values please click on the submit button now apply a db scan on this image after applying db scan it displays group of clusters that is uh, that it has formed in this window you can also see the initial points of of a thank you okay. hi everyone this is sudhakar from computer science department of gokaraju rangaraju institute of engineering and technology uh, me and my team members balakrishna uday kumar and rajesh babu has done this project under the guidance of ch mallikarjun rao our project is quality assessment on spatial data what is quality assessment actually assessing the quality of particular thing or object is called quality assessment and then what is spatial data it is the data or information that identifies the geographical location of features and boundaries on earth so spatial data is usually stored as coordinates and topology and is data that can be mapped on the map okay uh, spatial data is often accessed manipulated or analyzed through geographic information systems main goal of the product efficient clustering of spatial data is main goal on this project so here uh, uh, i have used db scan as clustering algorithm for making a cluster groups density based clustering algorithm that grows regions with effectively and sufficiently high density into clusters uh, density based algorithm is mostly imposed on high density it uses two parameters one is epsilon and min points epsilon is the radius on a particular circle that it forms and min points are the minimum points that it should be required clustering algorithms basically classified into four categories one is partitioning method hierarchical method density based method and grid based method db scan algorithm comes into density based methods clustering methods that are based on a distance measure between objects have certain difficulties finding clusters with arbitrary shapes density method regard clusters as density regions of objects in the data space which are separated by regions of low density density based methods can be used to filter out noise so let's look into what is noise amount of noise in data some clustering algorithms are very sensitive to noise a careful choice must be made if the data in the application contains large amount of noise Now let's look into db scan how it works and what is its algorithm density based clustering algorithm that grows regions with sufficiently high density into clusters it uses two parameters one is epsilon and another is min points uh, epsilon for the distance and min points is the minimum point that is needed for making a cluster an object with at least min points of objects within its epsilon neighboring hood is called a core of application of db scan an example image recognition and raster data analysis and another is find natural clusters clusters which are described as crowded together by the human eye this is a class diagram of our project what we have done algorithm of db scan first select a point p retrieve all points density reachable from p with respect to epsilon and min points 
We all know that epsilon is a distance and min points is a minimum support to form a cluster. If P is a core point, a cluster is formed. If P is a border point, no points are density reachable from P. And dbscan visits the next point of the database. Continue the process until all the points have been processed. Result is independent of the order of processing the points. An example applied on group of points. First, selecting a particular point with the help of epsilon distance and min points, it forms a cluster. Here it is a density reachable. Uh, we, we can see two circles. One point is a core point and it is density reachable. This all belongs to one cluster. Advantages DBSCAN doesn't require you to know the number of clusters in the data a priori as opposed to k-means. DBSCAN can find arbitrarily shaped clusters. It can even find clusters completely surrounded by a different cluster. Due to min points parameter, the so-called single link effect is reduced. Third one, DBSCAN has a notation of noise. Fourth, DBSCAN requires just two parameters. One is epsilon distance and another is minimum points. And is mostly insensitive to the ordering of points in the database. These are the screenshots of, of our project, what we have done. This is the main screen uh, when we run our project. So selecting, selecting the image from the pop-up window. Window for giving the min points and threshold distance that is epsilon and min points. After entering the values, please click on the submit button. Now apply a DB scan on this image. After applying DB scan, it displays group of clusters that, is, uh, that it has formed. In this window, you can also see the initial points of, of a image. Thank you.